So take action right now. That's the recommendation from health experts when it comes to the flu, even though flu season is a few months away. This morning, Team 12's Jen Wall is joining us live. Jen, what do people need to know ahead of this flu season? Yeah, good morning to you guys. We are live in Phoenix from a Banner Health urgent care facility. And Banner Health is saying get your flu shots as early as September through October. Hard to believe September starts in just a couple of days on Thursday. So joining me live now is Dr. Devin Miner. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, how do folks get their flu shots here at Banner? Can they get them now? Is it all ready to go? How does that work? Uh, yep, September 1st is going to be our start of flu shots for this season. So it's amazing. Flu season is already here. It typically runs from October through typically March or May. But you want to get your flu shot a good four to six weeks before the season really hits. All right, that is great information. And why is that? Does it take a little while for the vaccine to just kind of get going in your body? Well, that's it. It usually takes about two weeks for that uh, vaccine really to take effect. And actually, we don't know when the flu season's going to hit. You know, we look at the Southern Hemisphere in Australia, what's happening there, and they're getting hit really hard this year with the flu, and it came on early. So there's a chance we could get an early flu season. Okay, so talking about a potential early flu season, so be prepared. And I know you mentioned Australia. We were looking into that this morning. Do you have any other insight at what we could expect locally here in Arizona for flu season? Well, it's never 100% guarantee that what happens in Australia will happen here, but it is a good indicator. Like I said, they're getting hit early this year with flu, and they're actually having a more severe flu season than they've had over the last few years. So we could get hit pretty hard this year. Okay, interesting. I never realized that medical experts here, all you folks, looked at the Southern Hemisphere. So learn something new every day. Okay, now we're talking about who should get the vaccine. Sure. Yeah, so vaccines are really appropriate for anyone six months of age and older. And there's actually different types of vaccine depending on whether you are pediatric, your child, whether you're an adult, or whether you're 65 and older. Okay, is there anybody who should not get the vaccine? Uh, six months and younger, and if you have kind of a history of an allergic reaction to flu vaccine, or if there's any other contraindication that your primary care doctor tells you. Okay, and every year, you know, we talk to a lot of folks who are skeptical about the vaccine. They say, why should I bother getting it? It didn't protect against this strain or that strain. What do you say to the folks that have those questions? Yeah, every season is different. Sometimes the vaccine is more effective than other years, um, but we try our best to identify what are the most likely flu strains. Um, and even if it's not 100% effective, it actually reduces the severity of illness if you should get the flu. All right, great information and keeps people out of urgent care centers just like this one. And if you do get the flu shot, you know, you can expect those side effects, maybe a light fever, some soreness, redness in the arm, things like that. Nothing too crazy. Well, coming up live at 6 a.m., I'm going to roll up my sleeve, get my shot, and we're going to talk about COVID and the flu. This is the third year that we've come up on flu season dealing with COVID as well. So Dr. Miner is going to answer a lot of our questions when it comes to breaking all of that down ahead of this next season, guys.